Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a really cool magazine layout like this on your WordPress website. It's just using the block editor and no plugins at all. It's also going to teach you how you can create a unique blog layout for your site. It's also going to teach you how you can create multiple blog pages with different layouts for each blog page. We're going to be using primarily the query loop block, but you're also going to learn how to create custom page templates. So let's get into it. As inspiration for this tutorial, I looked at the Guardian front page and there's some interesting things on the front page, two really that I wanted to try and emulate in the block editor. The first is we've got different sizes of columns on these on this front page, uh, which is quite complex to do. And the other is some have images and some are featured. You just need three blocks to create a magazine layout, the query loop block, the columns block and the group block. And up on the screen, you'll see there's a picture with lots of arrows on it which explains which blocks we use and where. And we'll start with the top section. So the top section actually has a blue arrow, tells us there's a columns block in there, and three red arrows, which means there's three query loop blocks. The complexity of the top section is we've got different columns, but each column is a different size. And that's why we need three different query loop blocks to go in there. Again, I'll show you how to do all this in a few minutes. Then the second section has one query loop block, the sports section, and it's got a green arrow, which tells us there's a group block. Now the group block is really useful because it's like a container block. It allows us to add colors, background colors, to whole sections of content. And then the final section at the bottom, the culture section, has one query loop block, and that's it, nice and simple. To do this, you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need WordPress 5.9, which is released tomorrow. You're also gonna need a block-based theme, like the 2022 theme, again, released tomorrow. And if you just wanted to edit your blog page, you would just go to the edit here, editor in the full site editor, find your blog page template and edit it in here. But today we're gonna to go one step further. We're gonna create a new page template and use that as a new blog page essentially. So what I'm gonna do first is create that new template. Now at the moment, this is a bit of a funny workaround how to create a new page template. It's a bit kludgy, but this is how you do it. You basically go to create a new page and then over on the right here, you'll see template and you'll have the ability to create a new template. So I'm gonna go create a new page template and I'm gonna call this magazine layout. Then you can ignore this bit. We wanna go back to the full site editor now. So I'm just gonna leave that page. And now when I go back to the editor, the full site editor and click on templates, we'll see my new magazine layout up here ready for me. Now we can start to actually build our new magazine layout. Right, let's quickly flick back to our image with all the arrows on it just to show you. We're gonna start from the top and this is what we need. We basically, we've got three query loop blocks and we've got a columns block. We've actually got a group block up there as well. What you'll often find is lots of themes will actually use the group block. Think of the group block like a container block to apply styles to. So they'll have inbuilt things in that group block like padding. So you might find when you're working with full site editing that you add a block to a page and it kind of stretches to the full bleed. And that's because in, within the theme, they've actually used the container block, the group block to put some inbuilt styles in. So what you often find is you need to add the group block to just add some padding if you're creating new page templates. Anyway, this is actually the layout of our newspaper, our magazine that I created. And this is back to my template in the site editor. And actually what I'm gonna to do to start with is just delete everything out of here. So I'm even deleting the header, just so we can actually be really clear what's going on. And now we're gonna reconstruct our newspaper layout, which is here. So we're gonna start with this top section and all we're gonna do is add the columns block to start with because that's our main driver for this. So you could add the block insert here um, and search for columns and add it that way. Or as you get more and more used to this stuff, you can hit forward slash and then columns and use the quick way to do it. Now we want three columns essentially, and we're just gonna use three columns of equal proportions because in each of these columns, we can actually go into those and we can set different width for each column. So you can see I've se selected the first column and I can actually set the number of pixels over here to increase the first column width. And I can do the same for each column. Use the list view to select them here. And you'll see when you click on each column in the list view, you can actually do your own widths over here. So that's kind of what I want. I want this sort of big featured section here with two smaller columns. Let's flip back. Two smaller columns here and here. Now it would be lovely if I could just put one query loop block and it would automatically create these nice different layouts for me, but we can't. The other reason we're, we're using three query loop blocks is because this first block here actually has a photograph in it. It's automatically pulling in the featured image for us and we can, we've got some different styles over here as well. So we actually need three query loop blocks. So I'm gonna start off actually by adding a query loop in the first block. So I'm just gonna click on that section, search for query loop 
Now, when, when it first comes in, you'll have lots of different options in here. You, you can scroll through the different layouts that you want, or you can start blank and just build it from the blank up. It's kind of quicker often to start with one of these pre-built layouts. I think that's probably close enough to the one I want. So we're gonna edit it once it's in place, but I'm just gonna click choose here. And you'll see it comes in over here in the list view. And we've got a few issues. Now the query loop block brings in automatically th these other blocks as well. Many of these we don't actually need. So I'm just gonna go through and delete these. I can click on them and remove the post date and the separator. I mean, it's up to you whether you keep them. We do want, I think we want an excerpt for this. The other thing is, can you see how the post title is actually above the image, whereas we want it below the image. So I'm just gonna drag it below the featured image. And there we go, that's kind of cool. And then the other thing we want to do is select the query loop and we want to then select how many of these posts we want to show. So this is the setting to do that. This is a really key setting here. This lets you show how many items per page. We just want one and that will just bring one post in. The offset I'm going to come back to in our other columns over here. And we don't need this. This is if you've got pagination going on below, which we don't have. We've turned that off. You can also add a read more link down here if you want to as well, which we don't really want to do. The other thing that's really key with us for this for this block is we need to tell it to show here. Now, you've got a couple of options because basically this is we want to make this either sticky. Let's go back to my photo. We want to make this a sticky only show sticky blocks, uh, sticky posts, or we want to have a certain category that only that space fills in. That allows us to be very specific about what posts we show there, rather than just showing the latest. We actually want to decide which story appears there. And we can do that using the query loop block. So over here on the right in the settings, we can actually either choose, now this is up to you how you do this. You can either choose a sticky post to only show, and that's only going to show your sticky posts, or you can say, you could create a category of like featured, which is the way I've actually done it here. I said, right, only show me any featured posts in that space. And that means in your post settings, you decide which posts are featured and they're gonna show most prominent on that page. I forgot to add the heading block to the first column. So I've quickly added that. You can see it's just another block. Let's move on to the second column. And essentially all we've got here is the query loop block that's bringing in the post title and nothing else. We do have this bit of text up here but that's just a paragraph block. So this first section are all posts of category type news. This section is posts of category sport and the third section is culture. So you still need to create your posts and categorize them in the normal WordPress way. Right, let's build this second column out. So all I'm gonna to do to start with is add the spacer block because we want our posts not to appear right at the top. Then I'm gonna use the list view to select insert after, which is very useful if you ever struggle to insert a block after another block, it's a really useful workaround. That just prepares that space for a block. Now I can either use the block inserter to add the query loop block, but I'm just gonna hit forward slash, which is the quicker way, and then start typing the name of the block, and there's the query loop. It's gonna add the query loop block again, and we can scroll through to choose the layout we want here. You can also start from blank. Now because all we want in our case is the post title starting from blank gets us closer to our end game. So click start blank. And you'll see a few options here. We just want really the title. So the closest we can get is title and date. So choose that. So now we need to filter the query loop to show the right post for us. There's a few things we need to do. The first is to choose the category, which we do over in the settings here. And you'll see we've got filters and we just type in news. And now we can just show all categories of type news. We have an issue though, because it's duplicating this post here, this Ukrainian post. So what we need to do here is basically tell it to skip that post. And there is a setting called offset that lets us do that. You'll see if I click on these little icons here, it's this one here, offset equals skip essentially. So if I say, right, skip the first post, can you see how it's now actually skipping that post for us, which is fantastic. So now we've got the right post appearing. We've filtered them by category. We've told them to skip one. The second thing we need to do is just edit to only show the post we want. Now we don't want the post date so I'm just gonna delete that over here. Using the list view is the easiest way. And I, we don't want this pagination down here at the bottom. So I'm just gonna delete that as well. So now we've got the right post showing filtered correctly. The final step is just to edit them and then style them. Now ed in terms of editing, what I actually wanna do is show a bit of text above it, this exclusive text, which is just a paragraph block. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go insert after here at the paragraph block. Now, because it's the, um, the query loop block, it'll probably add it, kind of chuck it at the bottom, and it'll probably add it kind of after where you want. So I'm gonna drag and drop it using the list view into the right place, and you'll see now it's 
duplicates itself, which is cool, so I don't have to rewrite it. And then I'm just gonna change the color to red. And you could make it bold as well if you wanted to. The final step we need to do here is just to change the styles of this. You just need to click on it and you'll see all the settings over here on the right. So you can change the size of it to make it bigger or smaller. You can also change the color of it, everything you want to do really, or you can make it bold, for example, that bold text. There is a really quick way to create the third column and we're gonna duplicate the second column and make one change to it. So here we go, we're gonna select the, the middle column and we're gonna duplicate it and that's gonna appear here. Then we're gonna select the third column, which we don't want anymore, and we're gonna remove that one. Now you'll see it's actually duplicating the post. So this is where offset comes in again. Just select the query loop block, choose offset. Now remember we want to select four here and that's going to bring in basically, it's going to skip four posts and then bring those remaining ones in. So now we've got our top layout sorted out. Let's move on to the second section. The sports section also uses the query loop block, but it also has this background color. And that's where we're going to utilize the group block because the group block is like a container block that lets you add a background color to things within it. So let's go and add that quickly. And again, down here, I'm just gonna add the query loop block. So it's the same steps that we went through before. We need to add the block, then filter it, then edit the blocks that we don't want, and then style it. So here we go, we're gonna choose the option that's closest to the one we want. That's pretty perfect, I think, let's go back. So this one has a few extra things, but it's basically got our nice column layout, so we're gonna choose that. So that's gonna bring that block into that section. Then we need to filter it over on the right by our categories, which again, I've pre-written these categories, created the posts. That's gonna bring in our post of category type sport. Now we need to take out any blocks in here we don't want. We don't actually want the pagination again on here, so I'm gonna delete that. Uh, I'm actually gonna get rid of that separator as well. So now we've got a nice sport section, but we don't have the background color. And you'll see when I go to the query loop here, there's no option to add a background color. This is why the group block is so, so useful because it lets you style things and also apply specific CSS to everything within it as well. So all you do is click on the three dots on the right of the query loop block in the list view and go down here and create group. That essentially shoves that query loop block into a group block. And now because it's a group block, we can actually assign a background color. So we can change the text color and also the background color. That puts that background color behind the entire section. The final thing we need to do here is just add this little sport heading Again, that's just a block that you can add. So I'm gonna go insert after. Again, it might shove it at the bottom here, but I'm gonna go heading block, and this is called sport. And then once you've added it, you can just drag it up here, and it's gonna drag it into your crew loop block. You can drag it where you want. You could put it within the group so it appears over here. So that's our set second section pretty much done. We just need to remove this post date one as well, actually. Let's remove that. You can probably guess by now how the third section is done. We add the query loop block, choose the layout we want, and then over on the right here, we're gonna filter these by culture. If I can type properly, there it is, this culture. And that'll bring in your culture post, the posts that have been categorized as culture. The other thing we're actually gonna do here is we are going to add the heading, which we've got up here, but we're gonna make the whole thing into a group block. So we're actually gonna group the heading block and then put the query block underneath there. That again is gonna give us some a bit of padding on the 2022 theme. I also did that for the first columns block as well. I grouped it, I put it within a container. The final bit is super easy. We just need to create a new page and then in our page template options over here, you need to choose your magazine layout, which is that one there. Click publish. Now there's no content in this page whatsoever, but when we click view, you'll see it's gonna bring in that page template that you just created. So thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you did enjoy the video, if you can hit the like button now, that would be amazing because it really, really helps spread the word of the channel. Also, as you may know by now, every time you do hit the like button, our cats get a little treat. <laughs>